What's up, tipsies? It is Twyla's Tipsy Travels, and um, we're going to talk about dating abroad. <laughs> when talking about dating abroad, let's also talk about dating in the United States of America as an African-American woman who is fluffy, AKA difficult as beep. So uh, I haven't been in a relationship since 2009. Some of that is self-imposed and some of that is not. You know, missed opportunities, guys being superficial a-holes, <laughs> and also because I was working on my writing career, I didn't really want to get into a relationship and I kind of was like a hermit with like breaks in between for five years and so I'm kind of ready to start dating I think I think and on to the next subject modern dating aka online so online dating in the United States is like wading through the depths of H-E double hockey sticks. It is no fun. Um, I haven't done much of it. I will be honest and say I haven't done much of it. I did Match.com like six, six or seven years ago. And I did Plenty of Fish. Just all of it was just, it's just, it was all terrible. And I was ignored. I was ignored a lot. They say that uh, African American women have the hardest time on online dating, and it's true. It, it was just terrible, <laughs> just terrible. So I was ignored, except by like the creepers. Like there was some creepers in there that were interested, and it's just like, well, you know, I'd prefer not to be tied up in your basement and possibly chopped up and put in the freezer. Like, kind of, you know, <laughs> it's not my thing. So for an African-American woman, it's already hard. And then if you're fluffy, ugh, like if you look like Beyonce or Riri, you know, you might have some luck. But, you know, if, if you're fluffy, like call it a day. Because I um, haven't had much luck, at least not for me. I wrote the book, The Red Scott, hoping to find my own Braden McTavish. Uh, <laughs> some large redheaded man or whatnot. And I got here and I've been here for a little over a month. Yay, celebration! And I was just like, I don't know, like, I, I was worried. Like, doesn't look like there's going to be any kind of action at all. I don't know, maybe they're too... Um, afraid to talk to me and then I've been just beat down by dating and American men that I just was like Ugh. like you know the confidence level is way down and my mojo is gone like in my 20s I was like super confident I, I, living in California did not help oh boy that didn't help at all and that's why one of the reasons why I left I'm like if I ever want to date again I better leave because everybody is extremely superficial here among other things so anyway so when I got here I was just kind of eh. anyone who follows me on Facebook knows one that I lost my mojo and that I've become super shy and two that I had some moments <laughs> like just not being able to talk to certain people one in particular that I named the sexy soccer Scott this cute guy that um, play soccer with the kids at the park across the street when I like to talk on the phone to my mom and he's super attractive and he was peacocking there was no doubt about it he was peacocking doing uh, pull-ups on the goalpost facing me you know with his sweat shorts on and we all already know with the sweatpants material yeah, and then, <laughs> and then another day he brought his homie with him and he took his shirt off and then his homie took his shirt off. Like, I don't know what was going on there, but there was definitely something. And then the Scottish Sandlot came over and um, we're just like, do you fancy him? <laughs> so bad. I have video footage. I think I'm just, I have a live video feed of that 
uh, day and I think I'm just gonna post it unedited on there so you guys can see it for those who don't follow me on Facebook so you can just you can just see that <laughs> ridiculousness but um, but yeah I didn't have the confidence to go up and talk to him and then there was someone else that um, I found very attractive and I finally like I got the bravery to um, ask him for a photo um, but I've just I lost my mojo and so so the universe brought me um, another American woman of color who was traveling solo randomly we were both getting on um, this Ferris wheel that they put up the Ferris wheel isn't there all the time they put up a Ferris wheel and I'm just like oh let me get on that that would have great views of the city and maybe I'll do a Facebook live video and she ended up being in front of me and we struck up a conversation and then we became fast friends and ended up spending, we had dinner and then we spent the night bar hopping and, um, uh, you know, like eyeballing, eyeballing uh, the men. So we had an amazing night and she gave me some great insight into the world of online dating for African American women overseas. So she said, girl, are you on Tinder? And I'm like, mm, no, <laughs> just like, ew, gross. Because, you know, in the States, Tinder is just a hotbed of ridiculousness. So I'm just like, no, mm -mm, nah, nah, no Tinder. And so she's just like, girl, you need to get on that um, here in Europe. And I'm just like, I don't know. So we started talking about it. She told me about it. And then she told me about a site called or it's an app, an online dating app. I've never done the online dating app, so I was very nervous about this, but she told me about Bumble. She said that Bumble was a little less hookup-ish and a little more like people looking for serious relationships or connections. And it's not just for dating. They have Bumble, they have Bumble Date, Bumble BFF, if you're trying to find a friend, and Bumble Work, Bumble Work something like that like if you're make, trying to make uh, connections through um, work and career stuff so I'm just like all right what the heck I'll just do it and she's just like it's great they love us here and then while I was with her like we started noticing some well she had already noticed and told me about it and I guess I have been closed off to it blind to it but she's just like the guys here are definitely down to date fluffy women like really and then sure enough there was a cute black girl she was dark skin and this cute little yellow dress that like made her skin just the melanin was popping and she was about my size with this slender attractive man <laughs> and I'm just like what is this and Kelly was like see and then uh, a few minutes later another couple walked by it was a white couple but the girl was thicker than a ham hock. And I'm just like, I'm like, I am seeing the light. And so I'm like, all right, well then I'm gonna give this online dating a shot. And so yeah, I uploaded the Bumble app and I connected it through Facebook. So it was my Facebook picture and then my other profile pictures that I had had up. A quick like, I'm an author, I'm you know new to Edinburgh, blah, 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 looking for an adventure and someone to get in trouble with or something like that. I put that up just real quick that night. That was Saturday night. And then Sunday, Sunday, when I woke up, hungover, mind you. Oh my God. A Sunday when I woke up, I, I hadn't swiped yet. And just like with Tinder, it's a swipe right if you're interested and a swipe left if you're not, which I'm offended by that. I'm left-handed. I don't like how left is negative. But anyway, <laughs> swipe left if you don't if you're not interested, swipe right if you are. And on Bumble, the difference is is that the women have to make the first move. So, the guys can swipe and if they're interested, they can swipe right. Um, but they can't contact you. Once you swipe right, like say a guy is interested in you and he swipes right, 
and then you swipe right on him. It will then pop up, you've got a match. And then you're able to message him. And you have 24 hours to message him before the uh, match disappears forever. And then they have 24 hours to message you back. And then once they finally message you, then you can take however long you want to message each other back and forth. But the first two initial messages have to be within 24 hours. So, <laughs> woo, I started swiping. And I forgot because, you know, I was new to this site. I didn't know exactly how it works. I'm swiping and it was really hard for me to swipe left. It was really hard because for me, as someone who has been judged by physical appearance, I don't want to do that to anyone else. But you also have to have like, there's got to be something still. Um, so I did feel guilty as I swipe left on some guys. But for the most part, I'm swiping, <laughs> I'm swiping. And I'm not really realizing it, it's not really computing, but as I'm swiping and I'm getting a match, um, it means that these guys swiped right on me, that they were interested. And I ended up swiping, <laughs> I ended up swiping right. Um, well, I swiped right a couple times. There were some who weren't interested or either haven't been on to see any new people to swipe me yet, but I'm swiping. I'm like, oh, a match. Oh, a match. <laughs> I'm going. I ended up matching um, with 11 guys, but I'm like, I got 11 guys waiting in a queue for me to message, and I have to message them within 24 hours. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's too many. That's too many. I ain't got time. <laughs> You got time. And I'm like, but I have to message them. I have to message them all <laughs> before before the time expires. Um, and you can pay more money to like extend the expiration, but ain't nobody got time for that. So, <laughs> so I had to message like 11 dudes. And then in that process, I totally messed up. I was trying to make sure that I got everyone's name right. And for some reason, I was like, hi, Sean, to one guy and typed out what I wanted to say. And then the next guy, for some reason, Sean was still stuck in my head. And I'm like, hi, Sean. His name was Colin. Oops. <laughs> and then I messaged him back. I'm like, yep, I did that. I called you by the wrong name. My apologies. I will not. Uh, I will completely understand if um, you scroll on by me. <laughs> and he did. I think he was mad off the bat. So I'm like, oh boy. But <clears throat> anyway, I messaged every one of them um, and I got three messages from three different guys. One, I think he just, he may have, maybe he's busy. And so he messaged me to make sure that the, the 24 hours didn't expire because he hasn't really talked to me um, since. But the other two, running conversation back and forth <laughs> and then um, one um, we got comfortable enough where now we're talking on whatsapp and actually had a phone conversation and he's got an amazing voice with a beautiful accent and it's like <laughs> oh my god and then the other guy we're still chatting too and I'm just like wow <laughs> it's like wow and they're not bad looking dudes either some of them are looking good dudes and I'm just like what and then as the day was progressing the number like I realized there was a uh, there's a, a and here's an example here's the guys that I've messaged here are the guys that I've matched up with and uh, but haven't messaged yet and then this right here where you can't see you can't see their pictures because you can't see who you've matched with until you swipe right. But there are, there are 40, 40, there are 40 men who swiped right on my picture, swiped right on my profile and are waiting to be matched with me. 40. I, I, am two through it was like 40 and counting because at first it was like I don't know how many because I didn't pay attention to that little thing at first but I had noticed I was like oh it was like 30 
And then I look again and it was like 32. And then again it was like 33. And then I looked again and it was 36 and then jumped up to 37. And then when I woke up this morning and it was at 40 and I'm like, what? I don't even know right now. I'm like 40. <laughs> I, I'm trying to figure out how to do this vlog, write a book, and try and get out there, put myself out there and date and get my mojo back, get my confidence back, and get some attention because it is nice to have attention. I don't care what anyone says, it's nice to have attention. And to be a, a 40 year old fluffy woman um, who has had crap luck in dating and even getting like initial attention. Like just the initial attention. I am too through. So, <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know, and I don't know what's gonna happen with any of them. Um, I do have plans to meet up with two of them um, at some point soon, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen with any of them, but just the fact that there are interested parties involved is enough to give me a little boost of like because i'm confident in every other way i got doing this dang youtube channel and that's kind of hard to get on camera knowing that the uh camera adds like pounds and and knowing that you know that some troll can come along and um make rude comments or whatever like putting yourself out there it takes a lot moving across the pond to another country and starting over like that takes that takes a bit of bravery and confidence and all that and I have that but it's just when it comes to dating and relationships I had lost it I lost it all completely but it's coming back it's starting to come back <laughs> and I have to say a big huge thank you to Kelly for introducing me to online dating overseas as an african-american woman who is a bit older and fluffy like oh my god it's fantastic all i know is i'm just super happy right now <laughs> i don't know where it's gonna go from here this is part one i will come back and give you guys updates for sure um but this is part one so yeah this is crazy this is absolutely crazy but follow me on the journey to find out what happens because I'm gonna spill all the tea no I'm lying not all the tea will be spilled not at all maybe just a little bit a little bit a little sun tea that's about it you guys are not getting every detail <laughs> I'm not gonna be that open with you all but um, but yeah stay tuned If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to follow me on this journey around the globe, if I can, if I'm able to do it around the globe, I hope so. Um, we'll see. This journey around the world, as well as my sudden, possibly popular dating life overseas, go ahead and hit that red button down below and hit subscribe and then don't forget to hit the bell because then you'll get notifications every time I drop a new video and apparently you don't want to miss out now because <laughs> some things might be happening but other than that stay tipsy my friends <laughs>